Hello, sixth grade. Um, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to complete your African landscape with um, a silhouette and using analogous colors. Be sure to check out the Google slide for this assignment. In that Google slide, you will um, learn about what analogous colors are. You're gonna be learning about what foreground and background are in this um, project. Um, and then you're also gonna be learning about how to use watercolor paints versus tempera paints, because we're gonna be using both of them in this painting project. Um, and then you're also gonna learn about what a silhouette is. So be sure to check out the Google slide um, for all of those key terms, which will be on your next unit test. Um, also for step-by-step -step instructions and grading criteria. So step one, today I'm going to be showing you how to paint the background. So it's an example of the project. Um, we are, are going to be using watercolor paints um, and we are using analogous colors for our sunset or sunrise. Um, analogous colors are any three colors next to each other on the color wheel. But we're just focusing really on the warm set of analogous colors, which are red, orange, and yellow. So you, these are warm colors, but they're also analogous colors because they are three colors that are next to each other um, in a row on the color wheel. Um, so you're gonna need some watercolor paper, or if you don't have watercolor paper, which is like a textured paper, it's really thick, um, you could use um, regular drawing sketch paper, or um, if you have cardstock, something a little bit thicker would be best. Um, the size of the paper can range, um, this is eight and a half by 11, so whatever you have at home will work. We're working horizontally today and we are painting the background. Background is the area behind the main subjects. So the sunset is behind the main subjects of this artwork, so we are painting the background um, for our landscape. Um, we are working horizontally, so please don't do your paper vertical. If you want to go horizontally, that's going to leave more room for you to design your animals and tree, um, uh, which we'll be discussing later. So follow along as I show you how to paint using watercolor paints. So make sure you have watercolor paints, water bin, and paintbrush, and um, your watercolor paper for step one. All right, so we are working horizontally today using watercolor paints. Um, we are using warm colors, red, orange, and yellow, which are also analogous colors, three colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. All right, so like I said, your paper is going horizontal and our brush strokes are going horizontal. You are painting your sunset. Um, starting with yellow is what I would recommend because you can easily contaminate the yellow. Um, if you don't wash your brush thoroughly. So I would start with yellow and then move to your orange and red. Okay, again, notice that my brush strokes are going side to side because your sky flows side to side. You're going right off the edges of your paper. Um, you might want a placemat or a scrap piece of paper underneath you so you can paint right off the edges onto the table or your placemat. Um, I don't want a nice outline around the edges of your paper because then it's not gonna look realistic. So you're flowing your brush strokes side to side. Um, overlapping colors because again we don't want a perfectly striped sunset so now i'm moving on to my orange i washed my brush thoroughly before dipping into my orange when using watercolors you have to add a little bit of um, water to them because they are dried so you're adding a little puddle of water into that palette so they will easily glide onto your paper if you feel like um, your brush is a gliding very smooth, add more water. Sometimes if it gets too dry, it won't glide as easily. Um, so add more water. Hence, they are watercolors. They need water in order to glide onto your paper. All right, so again, notice that I'm overlapping my orange with my yellow. Um, I'm carrying my orange down um, into the bottom sections because I'm gonna or overlap my red into the orange. So not perfectly striped, but we don't want any white spaces left. So now I'm moving on to my last analogous warm color, with, which is red. And I'm filling in anywhere, any white space. So we want no white showing. I'm filling in all my, my white space and the remaining areas, again, with my brush strokes going side to side and overlapping those colors um, to create a sunset. All right, once you have all of this white space of your paper filled, um, with three analogous colors, 
using warm colors only red orange and yellow you've completed step one the background to your african silhouette landscape